Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Philosophy 103, Fall Semester of 2020. I hope that this video finds you all well and you are safe, happy, and healthy, and you are ready to kind of engage in another, or maybe your even first, semester uh, back at the University of Idaho. Uh, my name is Bryce Blankenship and I will be your instructor for this course. And today what I want to do is just kind of introduce you a little bit to the course, run through the syllabus, and, and kind of see what the expectations are for the course. And as we kind of get into the syllabus here, um, and as I explain, and you've seen some of my emails, um, we are having live class, and hopefully you were able to deduce uh, if you're either in the A group or the B group via the emails that I had sent last week. And uh, you know, if, if you're seeing this online today, um, if you're seeing this online today, uh, then hopefully the next class period I will see you live in class. And I'll explain more about that here in just a bit. Uh, this is going to be the syllabus, and I, and I feel like I've put a decent amount of work in here to kind of hopefully make this all run as smooth as possible. Because out of the gates, it should be known that this is not going to be your typical semester. Okay? And I'll say more about that here in just a bit. All right, so a little bit about what to expect here for the course. So this 103, and I'm just going to kind of read my copy here. You have access to it on BB Learn under the tab Syllabus. Okay, uh, we are going to have class Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and uh, you can see if you're in section one, we will meet from 11:30 to 12:20. If you are in section two, we will meet from 12:30 to 1:20. Uh, both classes are meeting in the Nichols Building, room 301. Okay. On Fridays, we will not be meeting in class. Uh, all of your material for every Friday this semester is going to be online. Okay, I'll say again a little bit more about that in just a moment. Um, some of my contact info, uh, my name, my office is in the admin, uh, office number 319. Okay. Normally I do hold office hours, but given the nature of this semester and just given the nature of the way that um, you know, we're trying to kind of take those precautions that need to be taken. Uh, I will only do office hours uh, by appointment. So um, if you ever need to meet, reach out to me. Uh, as long as it's safe to do so, we can schedule a time to meet. Okay? All right, Philosophy 103, a little bit about the class. This course will proceed in a historical and linear fashion as an introductory study to the as an introduction to the study of philosophy with a primary focus on ethics. This course is intended for those who have not yet been exposed to philosophy or to the realm of ethical inquiry. We will proceed through foundational and prominent works that have comprised to encapsulate a breadth of Western discourse and important thought. We will investigate how these writings, philosophies, and theories are still relevant and can contribute to various ethical debates that are waged in current cultural, social, political discourse. Most of us have experienced situations where we witness immoral or unethical behavior of someone doing something that we deem bad. We've also been in situations that we deem morally praiseworthy and have witnessed someone acting ethically or morally correct. But a question remains. How have we come to conceive of these terms, good, bad, right, and wrong? Are these terms and ideas innate in us, or have we created and conditioned them to conform to our realities? How do we gauge the moral correctness and wrongness of acts? These questions and more will be developed throughout the trajectory of this course. This course is intended to give one the tools to analyze situations as they relate to ethical behavior. This course is intended to expose the student to formational and grounded texts and writings of prominent philosophers throughout history. Additionally, by the end of the course, the student ought to be able to analyze and be familiar with ethical theories of past and apply them uh, the current ethical debates of today. And lastly, hopefully, uh, this course will influence how one lives one's life, challenging one to assess one's situations, actions, and intentions, and in trying to live the good life. Okay. Some course objectives. Recognize and be familiar with various philosophical works and theories, gain knowledge and understanding of the scope of ethical discourse, and be able to apply various historical and ethical theories to current ethical debates of today. Okay. So this course really will, uh, this course really will, um, pardon me, uh, proceed in kind of a historical fashion where we start in ancient Greece and we kind of move 
continually more towards 2020. And so as we kind of get going, we'll find our footing a little bit on ethical theories and ethical uh, foundations and kind of, you know, what is the study of philosophy? Like, what does it mean to be philosophical? What does it mean to study philosophy? Uh, and we'll see how all of this kind of intersects pretty quickly, okay? And then we'll move on, and as we kind of like move uh, into it, uh, we'll see various theories come about uh, throughout the end of the semester. Uh, I'm going to pause here, and in the next video, we'll pick back up with the syllabus.